Hello, good day once again. This is Arvin Alonso demonstrating to you basics of application tools, particularly in Microsoft Word. In the previous tutorial I had with uh, on, on paragraph for formatting, I already discussed how to use a tab stop. In this video, I would like to demonstrate to you a more advanced way of setting the tab stop position. So according to computerhope.com, tab stop is a term to describe the location of the cursor stops after pressing the tab key. Actually, these are used in order for the users to align text by pressing the tab key. Now, by default, I believe you are familiar with this, that whenever you press the tab key in your keyboard, it moves 0.5 of an inch. But with tab stop position, we can set the movement of our cursor. So for example, I'll click on 2 inches. Let me set it well. There, we have the tab stop position. I'll click on 3.5. And I'll click on 5. These are our tab stop position. But they are using a left align. Now, how do we set? For example, we would like this one to be centered. Then we can go on a more advanced discussion. And that is possible. When you click the dialog box launcher of the paragraph dialog box, under indents and spacing, you have the tabs button here. So click on this so that the tabs dialog box appears. Now, notice that since I already clicked some tab stop positions in the horizontal ruler, you now have the list of tab stop positions here. Okay. Below is the set or choices for our alignment. All of these three actually uses the left align. But how do, you, do we modify any of these? Say for example, our tab stop position 3.5 would be set to center, click on the center alignment, and then do not forget to click the set button. So if you notice, 3.5 is now set to center. And then say for example, that if we would like to have 5 uh, still uh, using center alignment, click and then set. By the way, if you would like to remove one tab stop position here, you just select it and then click clear say for example click i'll click on five inches and then clear notice that the five inch tab stop position is now removed now let how do we add a new tab stop position simply type the tab stop position 4.5 inches for example and then click uh, select the alignment Say, for example, left, and then set. So, a new tab stop position is added. Say, for example, at 5.5, I will add a new tab stop position, and I'll be using right alignment, set. So, we now have 5 a four, I should say, four tab stop position. If you are done setting it, then you can click OK. By the way, you notice here that the tabs, the default tab stop is 0.5. You can also change the default tab stops if you want. Say, for example, to one inch. So that whenever you press the tab key, it will move one inch. Now, so let's click OK. See if this tab stop position works click ok there you go you now have 
four symbols here L for left align inverted D for center uh, inverted L I should shall I say inverted L for right align now let's try typing some values so that we can see how it works how the tab stop position works so for, say for example our first column is name our second column is sex our sec third column for example is salary uh, uh, no 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 let me say for example birth date and then on the third column position and on the uh, fifth column say for example salary by the way right align for a tab stop position is very good for numeric value especially when we talk about the month so let me just adjust this one because i believe it will not fit the values will not fit as we type okay so say for example arvin osnola sex let me just use m birthday 12 15 19 uh, secret okay <laughs> Let me just change the year, 1990, position, manager, salary, 50,000. Okay, you notice how the numeric values are being typed. It is using the right alignment. And then we'll continue for at least two more data. Juan de la Cruz, male. Say, for example, 10, 1, 19, 91. And his position is assistant manager and receiving 40,000. Last data, Juana Flower, female. 0, 2, 14, 1980. And she is clerk, for example. And we have 35,000 as her salary. Let's have one more uh, set of data. Say, for example, Kati. Kati. Let's see. Female, 0, 01, 21, 1985. And she is, for example, supervisor. And receiving 45,000 pesos. Okay. So you see how our data are typed basing on the alignment of our tab stop position now if you convert this one into table will it follow the alignment of the tab stop position what do you think now let me just demonstrate uh, this one so that you will see what happens convert text to table okay number of columns will be five you notice uh, microsoft word automatically detect detects the number of columns based on the movement of the tab because it the criteria used to separate text is tabs click ok now you notice that we now have a table but the alignment of our tabs tab position was not followed anyway thank you for watching this video i heard i believe you learn something new in this presentation. God bless everyone.